Hello and welcome to my Keto Kitchen. I'm Victoria. Today I'm going to show you how to make Keto Whole Milk, Keto 2% Milk, and Keto 1% Milk. Now this video is going to replace my original Zero Carb Milk video because since then I have done some more studying and I was not right when it came to the percentage of how much fat is actually in heavy cream. So I thought heavy cream was 100% fat. This time I'm going to give you three different options, whole milk, 2% milk, and 1% milk. And in the description box where the recipe card is, it'll give you the recipe for a half of a gallon or a whole gallon of any of those three types of milk. So back to my notebook. Heavy cream is about 35% fat. I thought it was 100%, that's wrong. So if I want 3.25% fat, which is what whole milk is, in my keto whole milk, I'm actually going to have to add three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. And I want to make my milk a whole milk version of keto milk, but if you want to make whole milk, you will need three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. If you want to make 2% milk, you're going to need half of a cup of heavy cream. And if you want to make 1% keto milk, you are going to need one quarter of a cup of heavy whipping cream. So for me, I want whole milk all the way. The more fat, the better. So I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of heavy cream to a half of a gallon, which is 64 ounces of water. Next, I need one quarter of a cup of allulose and one quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. The xanthan gum is going to act as our emulsifier and it's going to keep the fat from separating from the water as quickly. I love to use my immersion blender for this. It's perfect, so I'm going to mix it up with this. Now, I am going to bring you close and show you how thick, beautiful, rich, and milky this looks. So, if there's any foam or froth on top that you do not want, you can just take it out. Going to put the lid on. And now I am going to make a cup of coffee. I'm going to make an espresso over there. I'm going to use this milk. We're also going to put it in a frothing machine. So let's see how it froths and let's see how creamy the coffee looks with the whole milk version. And that is it. This is keto whole milk in an espresso, one shot of espresso. It, it tastes like I just bought an espresso at a coffee shop. Now, I didn't put any allulose in this. I didn't put any flavoring in this. I actually prefer black coffee in the morning. So with this milk recipe, anything in my videos that I call for milk, whether I use almond milk, whether I've used part cream, part water, or I've used some Kroger milks, I've used Fairlife milk. In any of my past recipes, any of those videos that call for milk, you can replace it with this milk. I have already made probably 12 more videos of recipes, and in all of those videos, I have used my milk, and it worked gorgeously and dropped the carbs in those recipes. So this milk is a one-to-one -one in any recipe that calls for milk. If it calls for almond milk, whatever milk it calls for, you can use this milk. Also, 
when it comes to the allulose and the xanthan gum, adding that to the mixture, that doesn't change with however much fat that you decide you want your milk. So if you want a whole milk, you're still going to use the same amount of allulose and xanthan gum as you would use in 2% or 1%. Those two ingredients, they don't change with the fat. The fat is the only thing that changes with those recipes. Something else I wanted to talk about, and that is the carbs. So this is a zero carb milk because when you're looking at liquid, usually the measurement is about eight ounces. So on the nutrition label, it'll say how many carbs per eight ounces? Well, there isn't a whole carb when you get to eight ounces of this milk. It still hasn't reached a carb yet. So it's still not even a carb per eight ounces. So if you were to go into the store, at least here in America, and buy this milk, it would say zero carbs because it's still less than one carb. It might would say one with a less than sign. I believe it's 0.6 of a carb for one cup of this milk. So still it's still not even a carb so that's why it is zero carb milk because you still haven't even reached one carb with a single serving and a single serving is eight ounces of this milk i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you make this milk you can drink it by itself you can dip cookies in it so i made some chocolate chip cookies the other day oh even better than that i made a keto brownie and i cut it up and i sat down to a huge moist soft gorgeous chocolate brownie that i dipped into this milk and i was in heaven so if you use this if you make it with something if you enjoy it if you make it on a daily basis if you've made it tell me what you think about it tell me if you like the whole milk the two percent or the one percent i know us being keto most of us are probably going to go for the whole milk which is actually very delicious it's the one that i prefer the taste of that i enjoy the most so that is what this is i hope you enjoyed this video I almost forgot, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and I hope you have a blessed day.